Brielle Freer says she's a little stiff, but she's back to doing what she loves. Step, 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 degage. Dancing. You can just express yourself, and it doesn't really matter if you're good or bad at it because nobody is judging you. She's also back at Brighton High School. I think 90% of our world would have just given up, given her situation, and, and she didn't. She fought hard, and, and she's back here, and we're excited. Back with her friends. Oh, okay. okay. But after missing her entire junior year, she finds some of her senior classes more difficult. We have to do like, we have to read and stuff, and it's a lot harder for my brain to focus on things. And so it's a lot harder to start reading and then having to answer questions about it because I don't remember it. I'll read it and then I'll forget it. But she won't forget this night last July. While walking home from the store with a friend, a car hit them in the crosswalk. I've always learned to just run across the street instead of just walking. I don't like cars in the first place. So just, I had a gut feeling just run, but it didn't go that way. A witness tells us what he saw. I hear a speeding car. And I look and I see it was like a bullet. It just like slammed into two girls and they flew several feet into the air. Police say the female driver may have been distracted and just didn't see the girls. We went over to room number one, which is where my daughter Brielle was. And she, she had already swollen up so much from, she had swollen up so much already from the accident and she was covered in so much blood. Um, but I, you know, I went up to her, I mean, I could tell it was my daughter, but it just didn't look like her. Doctors were most concerned about trauma to Brielle's brain. They had to install a bolt into her head to just measure where the brain, uh, how much pressure the brain was receiving. She also had fractures throughout her face, broke her neck in two places, broke her hand, wrist, foot, ankle, ribs, and hip in three spots. Doctors put her into a coma for two weeks, but then a doctor saw something. But he looked back at her and then he looked at me and he said, we have a fighter. And I think she's going to make it. That fighter had to relearn to talk and to walk before she could dance. Her mother put up pictures in her hospital room so everyone knew the real Brielle. She is a dancer, and that was that's her love of life. The Taylorsville crosswalk where the crash happened now has flashing lights, and the Freers have a message. We want the story out there. We want people to realize you got to be paying attention to what you're doing. Pay attention, look on the roads, don't be playing, just drive. And for pedestrians, don't assume you have the right of way. The car will always win. Just look both ways and watch.